Hello everybody, my name is Milica, I'm a professional life and NLP master coach, soon to be a hypnotherapist, I'm working on that, so stay tuned! I help busy professionals, both men and women, to gain clarity and guidance to move them towards their greater purpose in life, both love and business. Today's video, we will touch on the topic how to unblock our throat chakra for better health and to feel more aligned with how we communicate and how we self-express. What does the throat chakra do? How do you know if your throat chakra is blocked? How do you unblock your throat chakra? What block the throat chakra. The affirmation for throat chakra is I speak, the color is blue, it covers basic issues such as communication style, self-expression, how we self-talk, how we communicate with other people, with our inner emotions as well, all the noise within us. If the throat chakra is balanced, you're feeling in peace with yourself, trustful, self-expression, you have strong skills of listening and communicating purely, properly, you're able to understand what other people say to you, as well we are able to deliver what you want to express in words. When the throat chakra is balanced, you have the ability to create your know-how and to release ideas, projects, you're also pretty much connected with the spiritual world and you're able to listen your soul and what are the messages which are sent from your soul, from your higher self to your human avatar here on this earth. When your throat chakra is blocked, you may experience ghosting other people, you also may experience delaying in communication and conversations which are important for you to be delivered, to speak to the person you want to speak, to communicate properly, clearly. However, when the throat chakra is too open, it may reflect to verbal aggression, gossiping, basically all those negative communication style which we want to avoid. Okay, how to unblock our throat chakra in order to feel in line with our feelings, emotions and self-expression? Throat chakra highlights the intention that communication should be clear, straightforward, true, real, honest without swiping under the rug the truth and what we really want to deliver with our messages whether via face-to-face -face communication in personal communication or let's say sending a message or writing a letter what's important is that you doing the work you give yourself the maximum of what you can in order to send whatever you want to send like within you communicating this in a way that is right and true for you the fifth chakra which is throat chakra get blocked when you don't express yourself when you swallow your feelings emotions and you don't give it a play to speak also it can be blocked when you don't have person who can listen to you deeply understand your issues without judging you in a way that is observer in your life in a way that holds the vision for you make you feel accountable but in a way that will translate into your self-awareness self-growth soul spiritual journey aligning with your body soul and mind one of the best practice to open your throat chakra is to sit in a comfortable pose and just close your eyes, visualize the color blue, which is, as we already mentioned, part of the prominent color of our throat chakra. Give yourself a try to inhale and just feel how your throat is filled up with color blue. Imagine this within your body. For extra stimulation, I recommend you hold in your lap crystals which will increase the self-knowledge, being brave enough to communicate your threat. The best tool though is to dive deep into your soul and just to act, to listen what your soul wants from you to do and to act on it. There is no crystal, no extra tool which is more helpful than 
your soul calling and what is written within it and how you, whether or not act on it or you delaying it and procrastinating it. If you procrastinate something that your soul wants, this simply means that you need more healing in the area which you face stubbornness. On the other side, if you want to be one step ahead of you, challenge yourself. Make yourself brave enough, show up, speak your truth. If you find it hard to communicate and to speak honesty, make sure that you have diary next to you, written hand, not on the laptop or on your phone, but really writing the thoughts, the visions, whatever is within inside of you. When you write it with your hand, it it, it just translate to your body, to your heart, especially if you are um, person who write with uh, your left hand with your left hand it is transmute to your heart it goes directly to your soul and body in this way it is much more easier for you to release it to let it go outside of your soul mind and body so many people they keep so much stuff within them as much as they keep stuff within their wardrobes, within their houses, within their apartments, they also keep stuff within them. And this causes so much dust, so much uncertainty within you. Why? Because you don't open, because you don't speak, because you don't express. And this, with the time, this is energy which needs to be released, right? And when you don't release it, it may turn into diseases, such as skin disease, different different sickness within your organs those words are hidden energies they need to be let go they need to go outside of you of course not everything you should always be cautious in what you communicate with whom you share i cannot be very specific in those videos because they're for masses like they're for many people do your due diligence but don't self-sabotage yourself don't stay stuck great exercise which you can also repeat is the sound of the Vishuddhi chakra which is hum you can do this silently in your mind preferably in the morning when your still your soul still is not bombarded with all the noise around from the external world or what I really love to do is before bed one hour before bed I'm trying to remove all kind of phone laptops sometimes it's happening sometimes it doesn't <laughs> but let's pretend that most of the time it should happen we all know that we live in this material world in this world which our jobs include emails includes constant communication sometimes we have to be more stubborn and do the work in a way that's supposed to be done but most of the time you should follow your soul and what your soul wants and your soul wants at least one hour before bed to have this silent moment only for you so you can go, go centered in the bed and also just to prepare yourself your body for sleep in order to have productive sleep so next morning you'll be full of energy not exhausted not drained why well because you prepare yourself before bedtime so how to execute this exercise before bed or in the morning early just go within you, just start repeating the word hum. You can do it 10, 15, 20 times. Just listen the vibration within your ears, within your body, within your throat chakra. Imagine that you're surrounded by the color blue. This will help so much also to protect your energy, especially if you're somebody like me, if you do presentations, if you're a coach, if the main tool which you're using is your throat chakra. I totally highly suggest also to have some prayer and just to touch your throat while you do this prayer because in your hands if you're a healer if you're a light worker your hands they have a very pure energy and you can actually use them as a medicine for yourself so you can also just imagine when you touch your throat you can imagine like with closed eyes or without for me closed eyes is always much more helpful because it's a 
it's, it helps me to center myself and just to focus my entire energy exactly where I want to go, exactly where I want to do the medicine. And in my hand, in my, not in my hand, <laughs> in my case, is my throat chakra. Why? Well, because throat chakra is very important for me. This is how I express myself so you guys understand what I want to say, right? Use your two hands and just focus on your throat chakra, repeating hum, and just make it super easy for you to be surrounded by the color blue and give yourself also a try to express yourself most often no mantras no prayers nothing no crystals will help if you as a human being don't do the work if you procrastinate your communication if you delay your communication if you're lying constantly this is not going to serve you by any chance by any mean why well because you don't do your human work which is to communicate that's your task, that's your job. Prayers, healing, meditations, all those good stuff, they will help but after you first help yourself. Another super tool which helps me a lot to communicate more clearly and to protect myself before bedtime, especially if let's say I had uh, stumbling words or if for by some reason I I find it difficult to express myself. You guys know that English is not my first language, although I'm getting better after each and every video, which I'm so excited, but still I need time to think what I want to say, how to say it because of the culture difference as well. So what helps me a lot to protect myself is holy water. You can find holy water in almost every church everywhere in the world you guys know i am not religious person i appreciate god i appreciate everything that is not seen but i'm not rigid in religious i'm not person who is oh i will marry person from my religious because he's my religious that that's that's bullshit <laughs> in my mind like i will be with the person who is the person i feel like home with his soul like i feel him just he's my person period i don't care what your religious like what your family like whatever i want to see who you are as a person and this is the most important for me because why well because i will create family with you not with your religious not with your family not with your whoever so yeah this was just a little bit you know out of the context but i just wanted to mention it because most of the time when we see when we say something about holy water um, and people start having that in their mind about religious church for me god is here like between me and you we have god between us god is within me god is always with with me wherever i go because i choose him to be within me not somewhere in the church and to go in the church only when i have problem no you have to be every day consistent with your prayers with your desires in order to protect your aura in order to have your frequency high so you will not be able to make wrong decisions in your life or if you did in the past wrong decision you'll be much more able to recognize what is your next right move in life in relationship whatever you know concerns you have currently so let me show you my holy water and what to do with her <laughs> with it okay so here is small small but small bottle of water you just can open it just put a few drops let me put it just Smash in your hands and you can put the holy water on your throat chakra. And imagine how this holy water is the best pill, the best medicine that it is made and it helps you so much to express yourself and just to be in your own vibe it's simple as it is like the biggest stuff in this life are simple people make it difficult right and also industries make it difficult because they want what money so use the sweet spots 
from the mother nature, from the beautiful stuff which are surrounding us and start communicating more often. To wrap up these videos, I really hope that you like it. I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom and truth. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, all the necessary details are done below in the info box. On the left or on the right side, you will find another of my videos. So keep watching it, keep vibing with my vibe and be the best version of who you are supposed to be. Divinely you. Bye-bye.